The blockchain job market is exploding. You know, demand for blockchain developers has surged like crazy over the last several months. And in this video, I want to talk about why that's happening and how you can take advantage of this big opportunity right now in blockchain while it's still early. Because contrary to what you might think, you don't have to be a developer with years and years of experience to do this. I've helped people with zero programming background become in-demand blockchain developers. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project, uh, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. One of the biggest reasons that I became a blockchain developer is because the entire space was like a massive gold rush where lots of companies were trying to compete to build the next hot blockchain project, but there was a huge talent shortage of developers who could help them realize this vision. And that's exactly where I saw this huge opportunity because you know what they say, like in a gold rush, you don't want to be mining for gold. You want to be the person selling shovels to the gold miners. And that's exactly what you do as a blockchain developer because it's an industry where the demand is sky high and the supply is really low. So a lot of people want to hire developers, but there's hardly anybody on the grand scheme of things who really has a mastery of these skills. And because of basic economics, that's what creates this opportunity when the demand is really high and the supply is low and the price of compensation goes up. That's what creates the opportunity to earn good money. So I got into blockchain like a lot of other people by watching cryptocurrency prices go up and up and up. And this was specifically back in the 2017 ICO boom, all right, when a lot of companies raised millions and millions of dollars by creating their own cryptocurrency and selling it to the public in an initial coin offering. And many of these companies took the money that they raised and funneled it back into their business with the hopes of making more money over the long term uh, by building out their products. And when they did that, they took a lot of it and hired blockchain developers to create them. And that created a huge surge in demand for blockchain developers in 2017 into 2018 and so on and so forth. And I believe that history is repeating itself and we're starting to see a very similar pattern emerge today. So let me explain why. Decentralized finance or DeFi has by far been the biggest blockchain trend of 2020. This is basically taking existing financial products and moving them over to the blockchain. You know, things like savings, loans, trading, et cetera, et cetera. And and if you had looked at this list at the beginning of this year, all right, uh, you know, you'll see that uh, the total value locked in DeFi was, uh, you know, less than a billion dollars. And now it's over $10 billion. OK, you know, peaked up here around uh, 13 billion. That's more than 10x growth in under one year. All right. You know, 10x, 100x, those are those magical numbers that gold miners go after. And so you've seen a Cambrian explosion of different DeFi applications that serve these financial use cases because this opportunity is so big. Like we've seen apps for savings and lending. We've seen apps for trading. We've seen apps for this, that, the other, the other, right? There's so much rush to be the first person or the best person to solve these problems and get users and capture market share. And another big reason that DeFi looks a lot like the ICO boom of 2017 is because of liquidity mining, all right? This is a brand new token distribution method where, where you know companies can create their own cryptocurrency and distribute it amongst the public uh, without selling it, okay? So basically, users come in and use the app. They take their own cryptocurrency, their own money, and they stake it into an application that, you know, a business creates into a smart contract. And then the to they issue a brand new cryptocurrency token, all right, back to these users. And, you know, these users can withdraw their funds at any time. And this is taken off for a lot of reasons. You know, these users here don't have to swap their cryptocurrency for a different cryptocurrency and then be exposed to that downside risk. They can withdraw their funds at any time. And then they have their original funds and also this brand new cryptocurrency. And so it's been really attractive to users. And it's also been really attractive to the DeFi companies because it's a way for them to raise massive amounts of capital for their business, just like the ICO boom. And so they're taking a lot of this capital, pouring it back into their businesses so they can create their products products, capture bigger market share. And that's exactly what they need blockchain developers to help them do. And so that's one of the biggest reasons why we're seeing a huge surge in blockchain developer demand right now. And so that's the why. But let's talk about the, you know, what, how and who. So, you know, what should you learn? How do you learn it? How do you get into this industry? And who can do this? So we'll start off with what should you know? 
Well, I'm going to focus on the DeFi use case because that's what we've been talking about in this video. That's not the only thing uh, that people are hiring blockchain developers for. Uh, you know, at the beginning of 2020, LinkedIn talked about how blockchain was the top skill for 2020. And that was really before the DeFi boom happened. So it's not the only pebble on the beach, but I want to focus on it because that's where a lot of the demand is. And I think we're going to see a lot more demand in the future. So what do you need to know in order to take advantage of that? Well, I would break it down into two categories. So one are concepts and the other are hard technical skills. Okay. So, you know, the, the, both of these are things that I teach you on this channel. So let's start with the concepts. So, you know, if you want to jump into this game, then the very first thing you need to do is actually understand how blockchain works and how these DeFi apps work. So one of the easiest ways to get started is just to use DeFi. So go to a website like coinbase.com, purchase some cryptocurrency uh, like Ether, for example, maybe get a stable coin like DAI, transfer it to a wallet like MetaMask and uh, go use an app. All right. So if you want a simple recommendation, go use something like Compound Finance. This was one of the original most popular DeFi apps uh, that made liquidity mining really popular because they issued t comp tokens. So this is a savings lend and lending app where you can uh, basically deposit cryptocurrency like a bank and then earn interest on it. And then, of course, you can borrow on the other side. And then uh, on top of this interest that you earn in the cryptocurrency that you deposit, you can earn comp tokens, you know, which is Compound Finance's own token that they are distributing with this uh, liquidity mining or yield farming distribution method. And so if you do that, you'll get uh, a firsthand view of this boom that I'm talking about, you know, the mechanism that's driving it what the users experience, and also, you know, how these apps work uh, from a high level. And so now let's talk about the technical skills, because as long as you know these, you can jump on the DeFi trend, the exact skills that I teach you on this channel. So the first is really Solidity. It's the programming language used to write Ethereum smart contracts. You know, Ethereum is the, the biggest, uh, you know, blockchain that powers DeFi applications right now. So you definitely want to understand Ethereum, understand how to write smart contracts in Solidity. And honestly, if you just knew that programming language, uh, you know, that that's the, the majority of what you need to know in order to be a, a DeFi developer. But most jobs are going to want to require you to uh, know some more than that. So typically, you want to understand JavaScript. That's a really popular programming language to interact with DeFi protocols uh, when you're developing smart contracts or writing user interfaces for them. So I'd highly recommend looking at a, a library like Web3.js. Okay, this is a JavaScript library for talking to the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and then also the Truffle framework for writing Ethereum smart contracts, writing tests against them. And then finally, uh, a front end framework like React.js to build a user interface that talks to smart contracts, just like this right here. So this is a website that talks to the blockchain with some sort of JavaScript API like Web3.js. Maybe they use Ethers.js, something like that. And so even if you don't consider yourself a front end developer, it's super helpful to be able to create a basic uh, UI that talks to smart contracts, just like these production dApps. And so that's another overview of the technical skills. And one thing I forgot to mention from the concepts is that you know, it's important to understand basic blockchain concepts and how to use it. But if you want to become a developer in blockchain, it's also good to have a, an understanding how finance works. So, you know, just understanding how currencies work, how trading works, how interest rates work, loans, all that kind of stuff. And the more knowledge you have, the more effective you're going to be as a blockchain developer, because at the end of the day, you need to understand the types of problems that are being solved in this space so that you can write the code to do that. And so some more ideas are that you could do some basic uh, low risk trading on an exchange. You could take out a small loan with DeFi to like understand interest rates better. Of course, you don't have to devote any kind of like sizable amount of money to this that you might want to risk. You don't want to lose it. I get that. But you'll definitely get a much better understanding by hands-on learning, you know, learning by doing. And that brings you to the next point, which is, you know, how can you learn on this stuff? Well, like I said, you know, the good news is I teach you all these skills on my channel, okay? So if you want to learn these skills, then you can just go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there. You know, they're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. They'll teach you the concepts on like, what is blockchain? How does it work? Uh, how can you create a blockchain application? What are the programming languages? So, you know, when I, when I go through this video and tell you like, you need to know Solidity, you need to web, you know, Web3.js, you know, Truffle and React, that might sound like a scary list at first, all right? 
But um, you don't have to go off and like Google all those things and read about them. I'll show you in those tutorials, you know, step by step as you build a project together, because the, I think that's the best way to learn is to learn by doing, build something, get exposure to these two new technologies, get your hands dirty. And that's going to be a better way to learn about them rather than just like going to their website and reading about them and like trying to create a tutorial like that. And so that's how you learn the skills, but how do you actually put them to use? You know, how can you get hired? Well, I've made lots of videos on my channel about this, but I'll summarize a few different ways. You know, you can go the traditional route where you basically look for jobs online or in person and then you apply to them that way. You can go to a website like uh, cryptojobslist.com for cryptocurrency related jobs. They have developer jobs on here. Uh, there's another one called crypto.jobs. There's a few different blockchain specific job websites out there. These are some good ones. You can look for software developer jobs. So you can see like uh, a software developer here at DHedge. This is a DeFi uh, company. All right. You can apply directly here on the website. Um, you can look on, you know, different websites like Reddit, honestly. So Reddit has an ETH dev, uh, thread where you can, uh, basically find out who's hiring. All right. For 2020. And you can see, you can even post your own info. You can look at different companies who, uh, post on there. You can look on traditional job websites like indeed.com or, uh, you know, monster.com or hired.com. There's lots of different ways to do this. The whole idea is to find lots of different opportunities out there, research what they're looking for. All right. Learn those skills, whatever just told you about and then you know start applying for those jobs if you do that and the whole goal here is to play the volume game you apply to a bunch of different places because that's going to increase the likelihood that you'll actually find something okay and so that's one way to do it uh the other way is basically to create an online presence that attracts other people to you all right and uh, and pursue more of an organic outreach strategy so i outlined this in a video recently where i talk about you know the super secret way to find a, a blockchain job you check out that video if you haven't already but the whole idea is to build a web presence and pursue organic outreach you know uh reach out on github on linkedin on twitter all that kind of stuff so go check out that video for a full explanation on that. All right. So the last question is who can do this? All right. Do you have to be a developer already with like 10 years of experience in order to get one of these jobs? So no, you do not. You know, I've helped people with zero coding background, uh, become professional blockchain developers with this YouTube channel, with my blockchain bootcamp, all that kind of stuff. So I've seen people go from zero, you know, just from square one all the way to that pro level with the exact skills that I teach on this channel. So you can be a beginner and get started now and get one of these jobs. You know, if you're a developer already, of course, you're going to have a huge leg up because if you, you know, know programming languages now, it's going to be a lot easier for you to transition into blockchain. You just have to master the skills that I've talked about in this video. All right, so that's an overview of why, you know, blockchain demand has been surging over the past several months. You know, the DeFi boom is a huge reason for this, all right? That's what's causing this, and that's how you can jump on this opportunity right now while it's still early. So if you want to get started on that today, then how can you do that? Well, you know, like I told you in that video, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses. I like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You can try out those now. You know, oh, also, before I forget, of course, you need to smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm so more people can find these videos and uh, also subscribe to this channel. But, you know, if you like those videos and, you know, you've been watching this channel for a while, you want to take the next step, or, you, or maybe you just want to take a master shortcut and just get started like right now, you know, build your own DeFi app, um, step by step, build a cryptocurrency exchange. I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I'll show you all the programming languages as we go. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.